गुड मॉर्निंग बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर सिक्स सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई विल टेक योर लेक्चर ऑन दैट इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर दैट इज द लेक्चर ऑन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फूड साइंस डेंसिटी पी एच फेस चेंज सर्फेस टेंशन एंड मेजरमेंट ऑफ फूड वॉट इज फूड फूड साइंस एंड फूड टेक्नोलॉजी फूड इज डिफाइंड एज एनी थिंग दैट इज सॉलिड और लिक्विड विच वीन सॉलिड डाइजेस्टेड एंड एसिमलेटेड it nourishes our body so we can say that it is a mixture of two or more different substances food kya hota hai jo bhi hum log khate hain that which nourishes our body that is the food that is the basic definition of food now what is the food science food science is the basic and applied science of food which scope and it scope starts with overlap of the agricultural science and nutrition which leads to the scientific aspects of food safety and food processing informing the development of food technology and this food science is the study of physical biological and chemical makeup of the food in food science we study about the physical chemical and biological properties of the food next definition is food technology food technology is the application of food science to the selection preservation processing packaging distribution and use of safe food it can also be said as a branch of food science that deals with the production process that make food it means agar aap kisi food ko prepare kar rahe hain then what are the different processes that is being used in the production of that food is this the food technology for example agar aap dahi banate ho to dahi ke liye kya karte ho just main samjhane ke liye bata rahi hu so you take aap doodh lete ho agar kachcha doodh hai to garam karte ho then you allow it to aap usko kuch der thande hone ke liye chhodte ho then you put some small amount of curd pehle se jo thoda sa कर्ड होता है उसको डालते हो देन यू आप छोड़ देते हो इसको रात भर कर्ड बनने के लिए दही बनने के लिए सो दीज आर द प्रोसेस दैट इन्वॉल्व द इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कर्ड और एनी फूड सो द स्टडी ऑफ दिस थिंग्स आर द फूड टेक्नोलॉजी वी कैन से दैट फूड साइंस इज ए मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी फील्ड विच इन्वॉल्व केमिस्ट्री बायो केमिस्ट्री न्यूट्रिशन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी and engineering to give one the scientific knowledge to solve real problems associated with many facets of food system thus food science allow us to make the best use of our food resources and minimize the waste nicolas apert is also called the father of food technology because he developed the canning processes that is why he is widely recognized as a father of food technology density what is density general term mein hum log sabhi ko jante hain mass per unit volume is called density but today i will deal about the density in the food science in food science mainly do tarah ki density hoti hai first is energy density and second is nutrient density now what is energy density energy density is the amount of energy or calories present in a particular weight of food agar aap 100 gram food le rahe hain to usse aapko kitni energy milti hai that is the energy density agar 100 gram food mein there is a lot of energy or calories that have the एनर्जी डेंस फूड एंड इफ सौ ग्राम फूड में अगर बहुत कम कैलोरी है दैट इज कॉल्ड द लो एनर्जी डेंसिटी फूड इन फैट देर इज एट पॉइंट एट किलो कैलोरी पर ग्राम ऑफ एनर्जी डेंसिटी इन एथेलिन सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन किलो कैलोरी पर ग्राम इन कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड प्रोटीन फोर किलो कैलोरी पर ग्राम ऑफ 
energy density is present and these calories may come from protein, fat, carbohydrate. Here I have tried to show you by the figure that is the calorie density or energy density what 500 calories look like. If you have oil ka consumption karte ho, अगर आप चीज का कंजम्पशन करते हो अगर आप मीट का करते हो अगर पोटैटो राइस बीन्स एंड फ्रूट एंड वेज इट मींस दैट इन अ इन ऑयल आपको स्मॉलर अमाउंट में ज्यादा कैलोरी मिलेगी बट सी द इंक्रीजिंग अमाउंट ऑफ द फूड मींस इन फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स इन लार्जर क्वांटिटी ऑफ फूड देयर इज अ स्मॉलर कैलोरी मींस अगर आपको सेम कैलोरीफिक वैल्यू चाहिए then you will have to eat more fruits and vegetables than the oils. This is the figure showing you in the weight loss. That's this is Aajkal ke generation ko that is the weight loss is the most common issue. So if you want to go for weight loss, you have to eat the low calorie density food. It means you have not to आजकल का क्या हो गया है कि खाना नहीं खाना है then you will lose going to weight loss but this is not the valid things when you are striving for weight loss the goal is to eat low energy density food that is you want to eat a greater volume of food that is lower in calories this is the table or figure you showing you the high density food, medium density and low density food. This is the showing you the figure that is increasing energy density in oils. There is a greater higher energy density but in the fruits, vegetables, salads that is a low energy density. This is the table, your daily whole food plant based diet chart. Just go through these tables. A chart. Next term is in nutrient density. Nutrient density is described as a concentration of nutrient per 100 kilocalorie of food. But it can also be defined as a amount of nutrients present in a 100 gram of food or serving size. So when expressed per 100 kilocalorie, it represents the ratio of nutrients to energy. The foods that are nutrient dense have high level of energy per serving. And kale is one of the most nutrient dense vegetables with a larger amount of vitamin, minerals and cancer fighting compounds. Nutrient dense foods are vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, nuts and seeds. This is the nutrient density score of different animals and plant-based foods. You can see here that organ meat contains the highest value of nutrient density score followed by shellfish, then fatty fish, then lean fish, then in fruits and, fruits and vegetables. Vegetables have the highest nutrient density score. In dairy products, milk, milk have the highest nutrient density score. In starch and green, Grains, legumes have highest nutrient density score followed by whole grains. And in added fats, that nutrient density score is in vegetable fats is 80 followed by animal fats that is the lowest that is 25. This is the 11 most nutrient dense foods on the planet. Just go through this figure and uh, Values. What is BRICS food? BRICS food is the measure of amount of dissolved solid in a liquid via its specific gravity. If one degree BRICS, what it represents? One degree BRICS kya hota hai? means one gram of sucrose is dissolved in 100 gram of solution. Of, uh, for example, on mango mein dekhte honge, uh, 16 degree bricks, 17 degree bricks, 18 degree bricks. These are the 
so it only represent that is the amount of sugar that is present in 100 gram of solution next is ph what is ph ph sabhi koi jante honge that is the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration ko ph bolte hain so why should we study in this food science because it depicts which food is the acidic food and which food is alkaline food food scientist measure the acidity of a food based on its ph value this ph value of a food is a direct function of the free hydrogen ion present in that food the ph scale range from 0 to 14 that you can see in the figure also and any ph that is below agar 7 se below hai then that food will go under the acidic range and agar above 7 hai that will go under the basic range the lower the ph rating the more acidic the food and most of the acidic food product have the ph range that is 3.5 and 7 this is the important point students and most foods are naturally acidic with ph value less than 7 this is the ph scale you can see in the here that different products are here and its ph value second term is phase change after ph what is phase change phase change is the change from one state of matter to the another these are the physical changes which only affect physical appearance not chemical makeup during a phase change heat energy is either absorbed or released so food undergo different phase and state changes during their process and a important role in determining their stability during processing storage and even during its consumption there are three distinct phase changes that happens to different substances at different temperature first is freezing in freezing what happens liquid converts to solid that is the freezing but when the liquid converts solid converts to liquid that is the melting process melting phase change condensation in condensation what happens gas will convert to liquid that is the condensation process in vaporization liquid converts to gas and in sublimation process solid directly converts to gas without undergoing this liquid phase and in deposition the substance changes directly from a gas to a solid without going through a liquid phase here i have tried to shown you by the figure also that is solid is converting into liquid that is the melting but that solid is converting into solid is converted from liquid that is the freezing solid to gas sub sublimation and from gas to solid deposition from liquid to gas evaporation and then solid to gas to liquid that is condensation melt melting point melting point is the temperature at which solid changes into liquid and temperature at which liquid changes into gas is the boiling point and freezing point is the temperature at which liquid turns into a solid when cooled gelatinization gelatinization is a process of breaking down the intermolecular bond of starch molecule in the presence of water and heat which allow the hydrogen bonding site to engage more water thus this process dissolve the starch granules in water this process occurs during the cooking of many traditional starchy food and starch based desserts it is a way the starch becomes soft and edible and in many dishes we cook at home 
by uh, it gets cooked by the zelatization process next is the crystallization crystallization is a separation technique to obtain a pure crystal from a imp impure mixture the best example is the manufacture of sugar from sucrose from sugar cane or sugar beet and another is the application of this another application of crystallization is its use of pure salt from sea water next is the surface tension surface tension is the tendency of liquid to shrink into the minimum surface area possible the cohesive force between liquid molecules are the responsible for the phenomenon known as surface tension these molecules at the surface don't have other like molecules on the other side of them and consequently they cohere more strongly to those directly associated with them on the surface the unit of surface tension are the newtons per meter or dyne per centimeter this is why the surface tension occurs because of the forces there are two types of forces that is cohesive force and non cohesive force that is the adhesive force the cohesive force occurs between the similar molecules but that adhesive force occurs between the unlike molecules this is the figure i have tried to show you what is the surface tension here you can see that, that this molecule is surrounded by the similar type of molecules so it have it there is a similar type of force that is occurring but here that is the outer covering that here the outer molecules that here kya ho raha hai yahan par similar molecules ka force exert nahi ho raha hai that that's why it is getting pulled in in inward direction and taking its minimum surface area जो ऑयल ड्रॉपलेट होते हैं वाई दे बिकम सर्कुलर सो अगर आप इसको छोड़ दीजिएगा सर्कुलर शेप बना लेंगे बिकॉज ऑफ द सर्फेस टेंशन ऑनली नेक्स्ट इज द मेजरमेंट ऑफ फूड देर आर डिफरेंट मेथड बाई विच वी मेजर द फूड क्वालिटी दैट इज फर्स्ट इज द पेनेट्रोमीटर दैट मेजर्स द टेंडरनेस कॉम्प्रेसिव मीटर दैट मेजर्स द फॉर्मनेस और सॉफ्टनेस ऑफ ए कुक प्रोडक्ट शॉटोमीटर मेजर्स द टेक्सचर ऑफ ए बिग प्रोडक्ट in faringo farino graph it determines the consistency and this all comes under the physical method of measurements of food and in chemicals method nutrient analysis measures the nutrient content of a food and that ph meter that i have already discussed that measures the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a food